Hey guys, welcome to Performance Cars. I am finally in France at Le Mans. Now we have just set up all the tents behind me there. Those are for all the staff here at Speed Chills. And down there are all the marquees. Just behind me here, this is the field where all the customers are gonna go. So I think this one is the second one. It's the larger of the two. This one can hold about 600 customers. Whereas the other one, I think it can hold about half. So. I want to apologize to you guys again about the memory card. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot it. Um, well, I forgot to give it to Crystal, so she's not able to edit. So I think only one video will go out next week. But when I come back from Le Mans um, next Tuesday, which I'm not too sure when this video will go out, but you guys will most probably definitely see all the videos that I will have um, filmed over here. And of course my race at Silverstone. So I'm not too sure which one's gonna go out first, but do keep your eyes peeled out for that. So we're just about to have lunch now and then after we're gonna most probably chill out for the rest of the day. I'll try to head over to the track and show you guys a bit more of the stuff down there. So at the moment I'm at this roundabout which is quite close to this famous car wash place. Station de lavage. Got a couple of people honking at me as I'm vlogging. Um, but yeah, that's um, quite a well-known car wash place with Kasha. So that's pretty cool. But I'm at the entrance to my camping area called Beau so that's the security down there and whatnot. At the moment, I'm waiting for a driver. He managed to get a seat in an LMP3 car. So he'll be racing this weekend. He's a support race. He won't be doing the full 24 hours, but still to be able to race at the Le Mans circuit is amazing. So we just wait around here for him to arrive. And then after I'll announce to you guys who it is. So guys, this driver has picked me up from that roundabout. He is of course, Edgar. Now you guys must probably seen the video where I interviewed him back in Hong Kong when we were doing the Copas meet, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so last year. Yeah, if you guys forgot about that, I'll definitely link it in the description below. Edgar, tell them how you got a seat in LMP3 at Le Mans, man. So basically, I got a call less than a month ago, yeah. um, asking if I want to join my co-driver to race this, do this race. Yeah. And um, obviously, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here you are now. Is this? Yep, exactly. He, he makes it out as if it's so simple, like you guys obviously know I love racing and then after all of a sudden this guy gets a seat here. This is truly amazing. Anyways, we are now on, what is this corner called? Um, it's called Tector Rouge. Ta well, whatever he said, so. this, this is the corner right now. <laughs> I'm useless at this, so I'm just literally following uh, Edgar around. We're so basically, you you do you come out of the uh, um, Starfish Strait, uh, through the Dunlop S's through this corner and then you're back onto the Mosan Strait, which is the- Which is that one down the there. Yeah, so somewhere down there, the fastest part of the track, and you said you'll be doing about 100 and well, no. miles per hour. Miles per hour, um, I don't know. I, I, I have bad math. What, 150 plus, math. or 300 kilometers? Yeah, there you yeah, go, guys. Yeah. Divide that by 1.6, enough you yeah. get miles per hour. So, yeah, we're literally just gonna walk around here, we'll have a look at these curves, and then after, yeah. We finally made our way to the top of the Dunlop curve. Huh? Dunlop Corner? Is that what it's uh, called? I don't know, it's the Dunlop Bridge. Uh, Dun the Dunlop S's. Dunlop Sponsor thing over there. Yeah. But yeah, have a look down there. It's actually really steep. Have a look at this for yourself. So according to Edgar, he says it's flat all the way down there to the next corner, which, yeah, is pretty true, isn't it? Yeah. So, what are you driving? I know we're driving the LMP3 car. Well, you're driving the LMP3 car, mm -hmm. but what is it? So, there, there are... Th uh, what do you mean? What it is? What, no, it, what, what is, is it called? Um, oh, so I, my my car is the Norma M30. Okay. And um, there are three, I mean, four manufacturers in this race. Yeah. There's Janetta. Oh, okay. There's, there's a um, manufacturer called Ades. Yeah. And the most of the field is going to be in Ligiers. Oh right. There are I think 28 Ligiers. Yeah. Um, one Ades, one Janetta, and oh. three of the Normas. Okay. Well. I don't know what he's on about except for the Janettas, but um, I'll flash up photos of those cars that he was mentioning uh, for you guys to see. But look at this. How many people can say that they've walked underneath Dunlop Bridge? This is pretty cool. Uh, I don't even know if we're allowed to be here, but there are, <laughs> but there are some people like cycling around like these two gents over there. But yeah, I think we're allowed as well. There's a people, a couple of media over there as well. But this place is actually quite high up. You can see like, over there it dips down. And obviously back down there, it cambers a lot as well. So we'll continue walking and see what else we can find for you guys. You know, I actually think that this is some high point in the city too, because you, you look at look around and there's not nowhere 
Paradise. Place. Yep, so this is uh, Edgar's top tip. If you want to have a look around Le Mans, come up to the Dunlop <laughs> Bridge and have a look around. And of course, guys, we are going to finish off the video in the pits. This is amazing. Thanks to Edgar's access all area pass, which he's hidden somewhere <laughs> down there because he's a driver. But check out this car. The UV lights were on it earlier and it just literally glowed in the dark. It's pretty amazing. It's looking very cool as well. I mean, just look at it, it's so wide. Uh, not many cars are out at the moment, as you guys can most probably see down there. It's pretty dead. Let me zoom in. Yeah, there's not much. And behind me as well. Yeah, everyone's literally hidden everything. They're trying to run some cable up there for the cameras and stuff like that. But yeah, um, big thanks to Edgar again. We're gonna say, uh, you know, obviously do well in yeah. your practice <laughs> and of course the race. Yeah. And I'm hoping to see a podium again because he did really well in his first LMP experience uh -huh. in Asia, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And well, for this we have like so many good drivers out here and yeah. it's basically the best in the world. Of course. So it, it's all more about uh, learning the experience and yeah. soaking up everything. Of you know, course, you can learn. of course. And your dream is to what, win the Mon 24 hours? Yeah, hopefully I'll be in all these pits next year. Yeah, well, of course, he's one step closer than me. I'm only racing Janetta's. <laughs> but Edgar, good luck, man. Thank you. Wish you all the best. Yep. Yeah.